everyone. Uh, I left this cell to last uh, because obviously I'm never going to be able to use the magnets again. There are 48 magnets in this ring. This orb. Now, there's 8 sections to it. Now, every alternate section has no power to it. So there's no power in this one, no power in that one. I think you get the diff. Yeah. You can see, it's just pulling off it. All the tests I did earlier, I knew it was going to work well. Uh, I put in some electrolyte just to, to get it going and clean up the radio sealant that I've got around the magnets to protect the magnets and to stop them conducting. And it's a pH of about 7. And it's pulling, a big surprise, it's pulling nearly 3 amps. Now, I didn't expect that, I thought it possibly a, an amp. So it was quite a, a pleasant surprise. Now then, to give you an idea of the size of these plates, they're tiny. There's the spacers, there's one between each one for the magnets are, and these are just slightly smaller than the magnets. So you can see that it's just this small area in the center. It'll be conducting the full force of the magnetic fuel all the way around. Now then, it's 316 cell stainless steel, including the, the tube. As I said, these have to conduct through the magnets to get the positive and negative. You can see the mess of my fingers with the magnets. Trying to put this thing together was an absolute nightmare. And now the, the, the orb is made, getting it apart will be, will be really difficult. Uh, I put tie wraps on them, but I don't really need them. The spacing is in some, it'll be about 5 millimeters. Same width for these, obviously. Up to about 10 millimeters in some parts and some parts have got about three or four. So that's where I'm at the moment. Once it clears up and everything's cleaned out, uh, this is off the radio cylinder as I said. Once I've cleaned out everything and tried a few more tests, I'll let you see how it gets on. Oh. I was asked if uh, the magnets would go down uh, into this type of cell. I did try. I put uh, magnetic plates at the bottom. Perhaps I should have spaced magnetic plates all the way up the, out uh, the outside of these rods to help the, the field to travel down. This is about, say about 8 inches, 7 inches long. And when I put the magnets on the top, there was no magnetic field at the bottom. On the inside of the barrel, I have uh, magnetic strips. And I had magnetic magnets sticking on here, four in a block. Same on the top, four in a block. No magnetic field worth anything when I started up the cell. Perhaps with hindsight, I should have had the metal strips all the way along. It was just to let you know that I couldn't get to work. Perhaps you can. Right. Well, yeah. uh, uh, the voltage. Uh, Thirteen and a half volts. Now, that's a volt came from somewhere because my power supply is putting on twelve point three volts. So. It's generating something. Uh, I'll find out all the anomalies that I can. I will try a pulse wind modulator, although 
I gave up on them last year or the year before. It just seemed to be generating more heat than the benefits I was getting out. But you never know with this one. I'll give it a try. I did try a transformer instead of the power supply and the transformer started going hot and my ampage was drifting from at the time two amps to two and a half amps up and down like a yo-yo so I stopped using it so I suppose that's it for now and I'll get back to you when I've cleaned it out and we'll see how it's doing and if you have any questions just ask it must be one horrendous force fuel gun around there there's 48 magnets in total in the ring. So, I suppose that's it for now.